everyone, I'm Holly and today I'm going to pack orders for the holiday pack and chat. These are all requested to be on video. I think I'm going to end up with probably four videos with four orders, but we'll see how it goes. So I have all of my holiday-ish things and I'm just super happy. I have my holiday apron on. We've got wax melts, hot cocoa, and candy canes. I've got Christmas cards and Christmas stickers and we even have like a little little cute little tree going on over here. So his first order is going to Texas. We have a snow candy soap and this is a snow cakes dupe fragrance. So it's marzipan and rose and cassis and almond which marzipan I think is almond actually. And then we have sleigh ride. This one was not here last year, but we brought it back for this year. It's oh so good. I have my holiday tissue paper and we're just gonna tuck a little bit around the edges to fill in those gaps. And then we're going to add in a couple of wax melts. This is a first time customer, so I'm so thankful that you decided to place an order with us. We have the eggnog cream wax melt. And we have the twinkle season wax melt. And this one is just kind of a, just a gorgeous all around kind of holiday scent. I love it. So I'm going to add just a little bit more shred to protect the top of those wax melts. I make a special batch of soap for the holiday release. I've actually used them all up, but I saved some for these videos. So this is the sample gift soap, Holiday Cheers. This is super pretty swirly soap. And we're going to put in one of those. Let's actually see if we can put, tuck these on the sides a little bit. And this is a, it's supposed to be a dupe for cherry champagne toast. Cherry champagne, isn't that kind of weird to say because you have the ch and the sh, you know, going on. And then we have the little wax mills. I broke out my snowflake slash geometric Wilton molds for these. And it's home for Christmas, which is also kind of just a mishmash of Christmas scents, but different. It is uh, holiday berries, peppermint, evergreen, cinnamon, and clove. And it's just a beautiful all around holiday scent. So now we're going to put in our treat bag. We've got cocoa and candy canes in here and my sticker that I bring back almost every year. Hot cocoa is like a hug from the inside. How cozy is that? Okay, so we're gonna put in a business card and all my business cards came in printed wonky. Some of them just like get further and further to the side. I mean like they're professionally printed. The same with these labels, they are not centered on all of them. And so that's kind of weird. I mean, I did pay for professional printing on those. So we have, um, I'm gonna put in the invoice and I have my cute little card for this year. It did not turn out, I'll be honest, didn't turn out exactly as I'd hoped, but it gets the job done. On the back, I have my, my doodads and my holiday logo, etc. All right, so I think everything's in there. So I'm get these all tucked in. When I put things on the side, it does mess up my tucking image a little bit. Now, one thing you may notice is I'm not doing the ribbon this year. I just, I couldn't 
do ribbon and actually get orders out at a reasonable amount of time because I wanted to have Thanksgiving off and a lot of good time off. And I really pushed myself to get these orders out within, you know, seven uh, business days. So I decided that I wouldn't do the ribbon. Plus, it's a considerable expense with the amount of orders that we're shipping right now. So I'm going to head over and weigh this and go ahead and print out a shipping label and then I'll be back. This one's off to Texas. Okay, so this order is headed to Albuquerque, New Mexico. We have a Wild Berry Blizzard Soap. I completely forgot my design on this one. I normally do um, these same general colors, but I usually put the white on the top so that uh, this fragrance, it does some weird yellowing, so I do the white without fragrance on the top. Completely forgot, so we ended up cutting the tops off of those, and so they were a little bit of a smaller bar and a little, um, little less expensive. We have a Holiday Serendipity Soap, and this is a blend of peppermint bark, chocolate, and peppermint. Mmm, it's so good, so pretty. I was trying to come up with a cute little like image for that one and with my regular serendipity bar I was able to I don't know do some Photoshop stuff and get it so that it looked like a rainbow ice cream sandwich but it wasn't working for me so I just went with a cute little snowman some berry bliss it's just good soap still one of my favorite soap bars ever love this fragrance so uh, Tuck that in there like so. This is the cube box. I highly recommend these if you are a shipper. It's just a cube mailing box and it is um, a really nice rate, the cubic rate. All right, what do we want to do here? Let's move this over just a little bit. I can't remember if these can stand up. No, that cannot stand up. Let's put a Merry Cranberry uh, Sugar Whipped Soap in here soap scrub it's a scrub has the sugar in it all right let's reorg gonna do a reorg all right put that there and then i'm gonna put the berry bliss up here on the top so that i can put the room and linen spray on the bottom now i always put it in these baggies and i always look for the biodegradable kind and um, it just helps to protect it in case it decides to leak. I always tighten these as much as I can. Um, these are a new bottle. I love them. And it's just because I couldn't get my old bottles. But I got these and I really do like it. I probably will stick with it. I was trying to remember what I recognized that look from. And I was looking around at other makers. I was like, geez, I don't want to just like copy other makers, you know, despite it being the only bottle I could actually buy at the time. And then I realized that um, I have some products from Scouts Honor. They're the, they have like animal shampoo and sprays and stuff. That's pretty much all I use on my dogs. I mean, that's not exactly true. My dog Roman uses something else, but that's what I, I use most of their products and, um, my Aussie, I do, mini Aussie, I do wash him with their shampoo. My, my Doberman, he, <laughs> he, he uses horse shampoo. So he's pretty much as big as a horse, so it works. Um, let's see. I'm going to put in the Snow Kissed Wax Melts. And these are just, this is a winter candy apple dupe if you love that scent. I'll put that there. We still have to have enough room for this old bath bomb. I think he's going to go right there to tell you the truth. I wouldn't lie about it, so that was kind of a weird statement. But I do need to have enough. Hmm. I think I'm put him actually over hmm, decision to making decisions. Let's do this and see what happens. I kind of want the bath bomb to go here because it's soft. And it is pretty soft here, but there's that um, jar. And so we got all. It was getting a little jostly. So I cut my little paper wrap into the size I need. To give it a wrap this is comfort 
and it is made with my regular apricot kernel oil and yeah apricot kernel oil but I also added in cocoa butter and Epsom salts oh it's so good it has just a comforting sweet fragrance and I love it it's so nice guys I'm addicted to making bath bombs now so just FYI there's more bath bombs coming eventually as soon as I can get done with these orders and get through Thanksgiving and stuff I'm playing in December I'm just I'm just warning you I'm playing in December I'm making soap and bath bombs and all the things I have not let's put the eggnog creams right here I have not made anything since I was making like wax melts and bath bombs for this release for but like for soaps I've not made soaps in a long time so I'm kind of looking forward to it okay I keep having like I'm a I usually think of uh, things that I can make in bed oddly enough it's usually usually when I'm laying there and I'm just like either I'm trying to go to sleep or I've just woke up early and waiting for the rest of the household to rise um I usually come up with great ideas but I've had to be like no you cannot make anything all my tables are completely full there's no making anything okay so we're gonna go ahead and put in the wax melt we're gonna put in the soap And then we're going to put in my card and the invoice and the business card. And then in with the cocoa. I just love these bags, aren't they? This is the prettiest thing. I love this paper. I kind of had a panic attack because it was like sold out, sold out. Because I'm always buying stuff, you know, before the season. And it was like sold out, sold out. And I was like, no, I have to have matching papers. Dear goodness, I just realized I don't think, did I put my sticker on the last one? I don't even know. I'm going to have to go back and check and if I didn't, I'll open it back up and put the sticker on it. So this was my sticker. Isn't it cute? I love it. I actually designed it last year for, or the year before for Holly Jolly. Like it was the Holly Jolly logo, I guess. But I thought, you know what? It works. It's so pretty. So I reworked it a little bit. one and we're at the end of the road on this this one is headed to New Mexico okay so we are back oh I guess I gotta put the tape on my tape gun okie dokie then so this order is headed to Spokane Washington oh I don't have my uh, trash doodad over here We'll just hide it in here for now. Be our little secret. Okay. So this order has two of the scrubs. We have the Mary Cranberry again. And I went with just four ounce jars because that's all I could get my hands on. So I thought I'll just make more of the four ounces. And then we had North Pole. I had so much fun. I know it's kind of shiny so sometimes it's hard to see. But I had so much fun <laughs> making this label. <laughs> Gosh, I just laughed and my whole little tree was like, like shaking. I was feeling like bowl full of jelly belly and anyway. Okay. So we're just going to tuck those in. I do buy all the brown boxes. Those are cute. I have been to Spokane, Washington. I'm a fan. Let's see. Back when I lived in the Montana. All right, so I think I'm going to tuck in the wax melt sample here on the edges again. And in her note, she said that she loves woodsy and warm fragrances. So I'm going to send a flannel and amber because this is so warm. I love it. So I'm going to put this in here. And we're just going to give it a little bit more cushioning right there. I do need the space here because this does take up... These are a little tall. Okay, so we have the invoice and the card. Making sure my 
my writing didn't smear. I'm using a <laughs> glitter pen because, whoa. Anyway, glitter pen, because why not, right? And then we're going to put in some cocoa. And then this one will be off to Washington State. I have a few best buds in life. One is in Washington, and I have two in Texas. So this one is headed towards the direction of one friend. Oh, it smells so good over here. It is a delight, guys, to pack up this stuff because everything smells so good. Okay, so this order is headed off to New York State. And let's just check this one off together. We have, looks like a couple of soaps. I try to look down through the list. I check for the highlighting. Highlighting? Highlighter. Hi, here we go. Highlighted section. Highlighted number. Golly. So that I know that there's more than one. My husband does that part. And then I scroll through and look for scrubs, circle that. So I just keep an eye on everything that's going on here. Some of my names are similar, like I have Christmas coffee, scrub, soap, wax melt, and it can get a little confusing, unfortunately. We may have to figure out how I'm gonna do that from now on. <laughs> might have to might have to start with wax melt. In this case, scrub coffee house. Christmas coffee. Should I start this one all over again because I can't talk? Okay, let's do it. We have Winter Wonderland soap. I love how that little image turned out. So cute. We have Flannel and Amber soap. I'm such a fan. Love it. We have the Christmas Coffee Scrub. Mmm, so good. So that is a mixture of just our regular coffee and gingerbread. So doop, doop, doop. Okay, Christmas coffee wax melts. Check. We have North Pole wax melt. These were the macarons, aren't they cute? Check. These are all ones. Ones, I try to do that too. Okay, pink flocked Christmas tray. It's a new one for this year. I um, made a blend of pink sugar and sugared spruce and a peppermint one. We've got, oop, check, ginger nog. We have two ginger ones, but this is the ginger nog. Check. Two winter wonderland wax melts. So here we go. Those two winter wonderland wax melts. Check, check. We have a Frosty, Frosty, Frosty the Snowman. Oh, he's cute. Isn't he cute? You can't hardly see his features, but in, you know. Let's see, check. Merry Cranberry, so we've got those. Mmm, Merry Cranberry. I think that's my husband's favorite scent ever. He loves it. Oh, let's not, let's not jump ahead. Let's not jump ahead. Oh, Bayberry. Ha! Ah, my son put these in backwards, so I'll have to fix that. All right, I got those reset. So there we have with the Bayberry. Ooh, this is a good, fun order. Festive Forest Wax Melts. It's more of a Christmassy Christmas tree one. Festive Forest. Plum Crazy Lights, I love these. Totally inspired by Christmas Vacation. Oh, they smell so good. They are so plummy and delicious smelling. We have the eggnog creams. Doop. Let's see, we have candy cane cookies. Oh, I love this. Did you make candy cane cookies when you were a kid? Oh, goodness gracious, I love those things. And my kid was like, you know what? You do make this every year. You should like really make us candy cane cookies. Yeah, I probably should. 
twinkle season. I'm trying to have more of December off. I'm still going to pack orders for like products that I have and you know work on videos etc but I'm going to try not to have anything major going on. I want to cook for my kids this year. My son is 18 now and he is going to be gone before we know it. Snow Angel. So good. And we have the Vintage Christmas. I did find a replacement. It's not quite as strong on the clove and the orange, but it's a very similar fragrance. And then we have the Peppermint Sea Salt Snowflake. So, that I make every year. Oh, done. Okay, so here we have this order. All right, so let's see how this is gonna fit. Now, I would normally do a B, but because this one is going to New York, uh, the regional is not a good option here. So I'm gonna do a medium flat rate and see how it all goes in. So let's start with these two soaps. Let's do the snowflake. Let's just do them side by side, I do believe. Doot, doot. And we'll put, let's see. Just trying to think of the best way to go about all this so that everybody fits. Oh, it's kind of nice, actually. We'll see how that goes. I usually put these ones on the bottom because they're kind of flat. So, let's see. See, I know we have a pink one. Will you, will you fit? It will fit. That's nice. Let's put the gingerbread men, gingerbread people on the bottom. And then we'll give it a little layer of shred here. Good. Let's do some of the bumpy ones next. So we have the vintage and the Mary Cranberry. Let's put in Frosty right here. My daughter hates the Frosty the Snowman song. My son and I love it. We love the Beach Boys version, but he hates it. <laughs> I don't even know why. Okay, let's put in the Christmas cookies one. And it looks like we could get Snow Angel to go right here. I'm going to put this guy on top of there. So it covers that hole. That feels, yeah, that feels okay. So let's go with the North Pole here, and we'll do another Winter Wonderland there. Well, I'm crazy. Twinkle season. Eggnog. Okay, so we're gonna give this a light cover here. I just got a text I was called downstairs. So I will finish this one up and head down there for a little bit. Let's see, we're going to put in the home for Christmas. We've got a cute star on that one. And the holiday cheers. Feels good over there. We're going to put in the card and the invoice. And the cocoa. And then this one is going to be on its merry way to New York. So, oh, I got a little off kilter over here. Ooh. 
I ripped it. Shh, don't tell anybody. Maybe it have maybe it happened in transit. <laughs> no. Alright, I ripped it. I'm owning it, but I'm not gonna unpack it because of the little rip. So I hope everybody's okay with that. I usually try to line these up pretty good, but sometimes it gets a little bit wonky. This was perfect. Look at this. Look how perfect it is. I love it. I love so much, guys. I really do. Gotta take joy from every little bit that you can find. And I love a well-packed package. Alright, thanks for watching part one of the holiday pack and chats. I'm going to go see what I'm needed for downstairs and then I'm going to come back up and pack some more.